In the previous segment, we discussed about uh, <coughs> the two constants which were coming into the <coughs> solution of the differential equation because the differential equation was of second order. And we wanted to discuss what exactly uh, is the meaning, <coughs> the physical meaning from where are they coming. Um, so, so if you see that, um, if I draw that system, okay. <coughs> now, uh, we finally uh, got something like this, right? So, a naught times cosine of omega t. If you remember the cosine of omega t, we got that big expression, that infinite series uh, plus a1 over omega uh, then sine of omega t. Again, this is just a short form or some symbol that we have attached to those big expressions. That is fine. But then what these things are, okay. So, these constants, these a, a0 and a1. And omega uh, is, is uh, quite, uh, if you remember, I think we had k over omega, uh, sorry, m, uh, we wrote as omega square because k over m is always positive and we just wanted to represent that as um, some positive number. So, omega square is telling us that. Okay. Then, so that omega is coming here from the system parameter. And so that part is fine. But from where this A0 and A1 are coming? So those are related to, you know, the initial conditions which you give, right? That means suppose you just, and um, this is the case of natural vibration. That means no external forces, no external loading. So now just think that I'm pulling it by some distance say um, 3 centimeters. Okay. Now, when I pull that and leave it, then obviously <coughs> the, um, the motion will start from a distance of 3 centimeters, right? If I try to draw with time, if I want to show the mo movement of this and if you remember, we said this is x direction. This is x, positive x direction is towards downward. And so it will start from here and it will oscillate something like this, right? So that's the meaning of pulling by 3 centimeter. So it will, and when you pull it, it will have the potential energy and nothing else, no kinetic energy. And when you release it, it will just, that potential energy will be transferred into kinetic energy. And so when it reaches this point, all of that thing is in, in the form of kinetic energy and the same kinetic energy gets transferred exactly here minus 3 centimeters and it is compressed and all the potential energy again is stored and that is how it moves. So that means when you pull and leave, this is the part which you call as a solution, right? And similarly, when you hit a ball or basically I want, uh, uh, instead of saying that I'm giving a velocity initial condition, I'm saying hitting a ball because that gives me a more practical way of giving that initial condition. Otherwise, how, how to impart a velocity? just by momentum transformation, right? Uh, transfer, sorry, transfer. Now, how do you transfer the moment, uh, momentum? Just by hitting it. So that uh, uh, elastic collision, if you make, so it will just get the velocity and nothing else. In immediately, instantaneously, it will get the velocity and then from there, uh, it will start moving. Now, if you do that instead of this, um, so, so this is a cos, I'll write it. So this is cosine curve because it starts from the top and goes like that. And if I hit it with a 
a ball that means I am transferring the velocity then you see here it will start from 0 it will be at the neutral point the equilibrium condition where it was not moving at all and I have hit it. Uh, suppose from the top I have hit with the ball and it has got a velocity and then it started moving and everything all the energy uh, which it was having here was of kinetic nature okay and then the whole of the energy gets transferred when it reaches this point uh, in, in the form of the potential energy of the spring and it goes and stays there I mean comes to the rest comes to rest and then it starts moving backward and <clears throat> so that means under that condition when I am just transferring a velocity this is the solution of the uh, equation the differential equation so that means these things now the constants which are coming they are coming from the initial conditions which you are providing okay um, and now so so uh, so the first the cosine the coefficient of the cosine term is the amount of push or pull which you have given as initial condition the displacement initial condition and the coefficient of the sine term is the velocity um, <coughs> there is this omega that you have to be careful about okay so that uh, this whole thing basically is um, sort of you know displacement this full thing is uh, of the unit of displacement isn't it uh, units that means if it is in meter so this should be in meter and so now you see this so its unit is per second right omega is per second so this is meter per second so you get in meter so meter per second over 1 over second so you get meters so so this is the velocity with which you are impinging and this is the displacement <coughs> great but then and the general solution means that you have done both that means you have pulled also and then you have hit it also if you do that then you will get both the terms right and and then um, <coughs> so so what will happen is you know let, let's try to do that mm, suppose you have such a condition then now you have pulled also so then I have pulled say by 3 centimeters again but then I have also hit it in the same direction by some amount so now it will not just start falling or, or going backwards from there it will again move some somewhat in the downward direction here or in the positive x direction somewhat because it has also got some kinetic energy which it has to transfer into potential so that it will reach a point from where it will come back right so then then what it will do is it will do like that and come like that and this potential energy is nothing but this initial potential energy which was stored plus the kinetic energy which it had okay so that means here you see this a curve which is coming like this again if you draw this much it is like a shifted version of sine you can think of this as either shifted version of uh, sine which was say initially like this ok so this this purple one shifted this way or this orange one shifted uh, this way right so whatever way you feel like you can think of uh, that um, blue uh, curve so this is nothing but a shifted cosine or sine 
So that's the idea. That means uh, when you have a combination of bound initial conditions, that means displacement plus velocity, then you have uh, both the terms which is so sine plus cosine is nothing but a shifted sine or cosine. So that shifted thing is generally termed as you know some a. Now this one is a, right? Now it is neither it is this small uh, amount of pull which you gave nor it is this uh, compression that comes from or the elongation that comes from the kinetic energy. It is basically sum of both. So this A times say um, I will write cosine maybe okay uh, cosine of omega t then minus phi. So this is uh, a phase which you are now talking about which has been shifted okay. Um, so, so that is how you, so um, I will I'll write in this way that um, a sum of sine and cosine is equal to a shifted sine or cosine okay so this is very important to always keep in mind that what is the meaning of this phase and and what is happening to the amplitude when both the things both the types of initial conditions are imposed okay now we will um, in the next segment i'll uh, try to um, close it this segment here um, and then when we meet in the next segment basically we will talk more about this shift uh, in the phase and how it is very convenient it's a mathematical convenience actually how it is convenient to represent this phase uh, when we express everything in terms of complex number instead of representing things in sines and cosines if we start using exponentials then these representation of the phase is this that becomes easier so that all those things we will discuss so for now this was about understanding the solution of this um, the simplest case under different initial conditions and what is the meaning of the phase that we see uh, or, or um, write in, in the solution of that differential equation. Anything else that I want to say? I think no. So, okay, see you in the next segment.